already? Is this working? OK, it's working. <laughs> Um, so first of all, I just want to I want to thank everybody for for coming out here, and uh, thank all the volunteers, the committee, and uh, my parents who are sitting right up here. Say hi. <laughs> so started or it was it May twenty fourth, two thousand eleven. I was sitting at this kitchen table right here. You can see, and um, my family and I were flipping through uh, our photo albums to old plastic covered ones with all your photos in it. And came across this photo of my brother, who was three at the time, he's now 18. And I looked at it, and there's something weird about it. There was, my brother was sitting in the exact same spot that he was sitting in behind this chair. And I was sitting in the same spot that my mom was sitting in when she took the photo. So I took it out of the album, and I kind of I held it up, and moved it back and forth, kind of got out of the chair. And my parents were like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, just give me a second, give me a second. And so I grabbed my camera, took, took a picture of the picture, and ta-da. <laughs> um, and then I, I quickly flipped through more of the photo album, and I found around six or seven other photos from around the house and from outside. And when I, when I think of something, I think, OK, how can I put this online? So I went to Tumblr. I know it was easy, and Tumblr's very easy. So I went to Tumblr. And you click the photo option to upload the photo to the site, to their, their platform site. And, and then it asks you to add a caption. And I didn't come up with a, with a name for, for what, what I was going to be calling this yet. And I thought to myself, how can I talk to this photo? And how can I relate to it? And pe when people write letters, they write dear and then whatever. So I thought, dear photograph. And with this photo here, um, it's. Dear photograph, my, my brother wrote, help, help me, I helped him write it. It said, Dear photograph, I wish I had as much swag now, as much swag then as I do now. So, uh, <laughs> so this was, this was the, the original first photo of uh, dearphotograph.com. Um, as for the next photo, this is a pretty, pretty landmark photo. It's uh, of an old, old gentleman. Um, his son's named Jonathan Stamp, who took the photo. And the caption they made for it is, thank you for everything we've had. Now, this, this photo is it's, it's fairly emotional, and a lot of people are connected to it. it. It's recently got, or not recently, but over the past few months, it's gotten over 100,000 reblogs on, on Tumblr. And uh, it just it goes to show the power of social media. Whenever I put out a tweet or a Facebook post, I, people are always retweeting it or always mentioning it or, or, or whatnot. But this, this certain one, it obviously had that emotional connection, had that feeling of nostalgia because obviously the, the, this gentleman here who's looking down at the, at the, at the photo, his, his wife passed away. So this, this photo was, is one of the, the first uh, fairly big photos of, of the site. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show the power that, that it can have because obviously you got 100,000 reblogs, people can relate to it and feel emotional about it. So I was, I was very thankful to, to, to get this photo from them and uh, it's, it's, it's quite, the, quite the photo. Uh, this next one, it's uh, obviously of the Eiffel Tower. And, um, <laughs> The caption reads, Je t'aime Paris, but I love my mother more. After 15 years, she finally brought me along. So it, it, it goes to show the, the power of, of nostalgia again. And the, it's, I've kind of come up with this, this formula um, of mixing. The whole blog is it's all about emotion and, and this, being, being nostalgic. So I feel like this obviously has, has a lot to, to relate to the photo. Um, and yeah, it's just a great photo overall. Who doesn't, who doesn't like Paris and going to the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> this one's very cool. It, uh, obviously, it's, it's an older couple. Uh, I'm not sure the year. But um, the caption reads, I found you in the attic when we moved in. I wonder if you lived happily ever after. So obviously, the people that moved into this house, they found this in their, their photo in the attic, and they went and did the deer photograph. So again, the whole nostalgic part of it. And uh, this next one, 
I posted it this past Sunday uh, to commemorate the, the people who passed away, September 11th. And the, the caption reads, I woke to the sound of an airplane hitting the tower as we looked up and stared in utter disbelief at the nightmare unfolding in front of us. All I could think was, please let this be a bad dream, how I wish it was. Now this, this photo, I, uh, I posted it right when the, the second tower hit at uh, 9.26 a.m. On, on Sunday to commemorate the, the 10th anniversary of 9-11. And um, right away, I knew that this, this photo was, it was, it was going places, it was going around the world. <laughs> um, when I posted it, it got, it got picked up fairly well, and then I um, actually had to go to a photo shoot that day. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> Holly's in photos by Holly. <laughs> um, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't have a chance to really track it, because I don't, I don't have a, a phone right now. It's weird to think I don't have a phone. <laughs> I did quit my job, and I worked for BlackBerry, and they didn't let me have my phone again, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all good, it's all good, no worries. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so I, I went back after the photo shoot and, I, and I, looked at, I looked at the photo and just in a matter of, what, eight hours, it, it's, it got 40,000 reblogs. So with that, it j that just goes to show relative content. Um, I posted 9-11, people can obviously relate to it and everybody knows about 9-11. There, there's no one that, obviously everybody here knows, there's no one that doesn't know. So this really relates to it. So just one thing I'd like to say is um, relative content's great and like just having great content on a blog is obviously, it's, it's helped me, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, the, it's, it's just, it's, it's really crazy to, to think like not even four months ago I was just a 22-year-old kid still living with my parents. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's all changing now because uh, on Tuesday I will be, I'll be leaving to, uh, to Los Angeles to uh, go. Thank you. <laughs> Tuesday I'll be leaving to go to Los Angeles to, uh, I've, I've been in talks with, with a lot of people and I'm really, I'm really trying to take this blog to the next level. Um, I've recently, I've signed a, a book deal with HarperCollins, so there'll be a book out. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, it's, it's gonna be, it'll be a photo book, but enough of that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and this is, this is one of the first few photos that I did. Um, it's of myself, so. Uh, and the caption reads, uh, Dear Photograph, I looked good in a tux. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, this whole experience has just been unreal. It's only been three and a half months, as I said, May 24th, uh, this past year. And I just, I've had so many people come forward to me, and, and it's just been great feedback from everybody, even like this, this whole room. Um, part of the reason why I'm where I am and where I hope I'll be going is, is because of the people who are, who are online and because if I posted it and no one retweeted or sent it to anybody else, I really would, would not be here right now. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big thank you to, to everybody. So, so thank you for that. Um, what, what's happened is once someone get, got a hold of this, it just kept on going and going. First, Mashable picked it up about a week after, and I only had like 10 photos on the blog. I don't know why they did it so early, but they did it. I thank them for doing it. <laughs> but, uh, and then I, uh, one, one morning, or one, one evening, I was out with my, my buddy, and I, I forgot to, to check, my, check my stats. And I, went, I was just running out to his truck, because we were, we were about to, to go out, and um, I was like, wait, I need, I need to go check my, my analytics on, on, my, on the site. <laughs> a, typical, a typical nerdy thing to do, right? Give me a second, I need to go check my analytics. <laughs> um, so, uh, so I went in, and I, I checked it, and I, and I came back out, 
And he's like, oh, so, so what's, what's, it, what's your analytics like? I was like, I didn't, I didn't even know it was, it was where it was. It, it hit Reddit, and it got on the front page of Reddit. And it, it ended up getting uh, 250,000 hits that day, which was insane. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it's a nerdy thing to do. And after, uh, <laughs> after that, I, I, um, I had a chance to go to New York. ABC did a story on me. Um, and I had the chance to meet Diane Sawyer, who did, who, did a piece, who did the piece on me. And the weirdest thing, I walk up, and I'm about to go say hi to her. I'm like, I'm about to, she cuts me off. She's like, Taylor. I'm like, what? Diane Sawyer knows me? It's so weird. And it just goes to show everything, like, that aired. And then a few weeks later, um, Time Magazine named me number seven website of uh, 2011. And then, okay. <laughs> and then the next day, CBS took it a little bit further, and uh, they took Time's top 50, and they made their top five, and I got this mention from, from someone on Twitter saying, hey, check this video out, and I watched the video, and CBS named me number one site of 2011, so that's crazy, thank you. <laughs> so uh, I've just been so thankful, so grateful for, for everything that's happened, and it just goes to show how such a simple idea can just evolve into something so huge, because four months ago, I was... I was still working at RIM, and, <laughs> and, and, now, and now I'm here, and I'm, I'm going out to LA, and I'm going to get that entrepreneur spirit, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm, I'm just going to try my hardest, and uh, there's just, I, I can't thank everybody enough. It's, it's been awesome. So again, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It's been an honor, and uh, we'll talk soon.